What we're going to talk about next are the requirements for an IRA rollover. Well, you know, there are two ways that funds can be transferred between IRA streams. First mm -hmm. is a trustee to trustee transfer. Exactly. And uh, it exists, trustee of the existing IRA transfers the fund directly to the trustee of the receiving IRA. And a trustee to transfer transfer can be done as many times as one wishes. Exactly. You, you can transfer from one account IRA with, uh, that's classified as an IRA as many times as you wish. But here's the kicker. Suppose you do a IRA and the funds are distributed to you directly. That's not a great idea. We're going to talk about that. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, once these funds are received, you have 60 days in order to transfer or roll these monies over to a qualified plan. Now, what if you don't? Well, we'll talk about that in a minute here, too. Okay. Now, the thing is about the direct when you receive the monies in hand and you have 60 days to, to make the contribution to a new IRA, mm -hmm. you only can do one, one uh, rollover per year. And as you mentioned earlier, just a few uh, minutes ago here, that you can transfer IRAs uh, as many times as you like, but you only get one rollover uh, within 365 days. And sometimes I think people may not realize that no matter how many IRAs they have, they can own, only roll over one per year. It's the Ex aggregate of all. Exactly. That. It's the total of all mm -hmm. uh, qualified dollars, both your IRA, your traditional IRAs, mm -hmm. and your Roth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, distributions from qualified plans, as I mentioned, must be rolled over within 60, uh, 60 days. All right. Following receipt of the distribution. Now, to avoid this type of common mistake, mm -hmm. you just go from trustee the trustee because there's a 20% withholding like I said mm -hmm. now something else too <clears throat> when you do the rollover within 60 days mm -hmm. you know you got 80% of the proceeds because the plan participant is required to take 20% uh, withhold 20% from that distribution alrighty when you roll over in 60 days you have to roll over a hundred percent that is you got to make up the uh, the other 20 percent so um, if the roller is from a traditional qualified plan to a Roth it must be a direct transfer from uh, custody custodian to custodian or trustee to trust uh, to trustee transfer now in the case of an inherited IRAs <clears throat> excuse me uh, what we just talked about here, mm -hmm. that, that's where it's most applicable, especially to spouse IRA beneficiaries. Now, in non-spouses, any distributions received by the non-spouse, okay, uh, inherited by a non-spouse beneficiary should be directly transferred from the deceased owner's IRA, I've had experience with that, mm -hmm. uh, to ownership of the IRA and go from trustee to trustee. Because if you put these monies in hand, it's a taxable event, yes. all right? You already have to take these monies out anyway within 12 months of the decedent, Carolyn. Like I said, rollover requirements can be uh, complex. It depends on the original source of those funds okay. and the objectives of the IRA rollover. So um, I would even seek uh, professional tax uh, advice. Now, of course, we don't give investment tax or legal advice, but uh, these rollovers can be very, very uh, complex and uh, we have to make sure that there is no adverse tax consequences on, uh, and errors. So we're able to help uh, many of our uh, clients here.